Hello, beloveds. Welcome back to my channel. It's your Mystic Journey Divine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you clicked on to this video tonight. If you have, there's a special message for you. Divine Spirit has chosen this deck to bring you clarity on a situation you may be going through. Give you answers that you seek in love and life and finance and wealth and money and abundance. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday, better known as hump day in the city I'm from and in many other states in the United States. It's a time where people are trapped in between Monday and Friday. It's too close to Monday and still too far from the weekend. <laughs> Usually there's a lot of things going on in your day. You may be under a lot of stress. Maybe having some arguments in your home with your spouse. You're maybe going through something you're not really understanding what's going on. Everything was okay one day, the next day it was not. If you're like if you grew up like I grew up looking into the spirit, into realms of divination, such as tarot, and in many other forms of divination, such as using runes, throwing bones, witches brew, anything just outside the norm of the church. We tend to not look into those things for answers, even when we're not finding what we need anymore in the church setting. I'm here to tell you that God is everywhere and in everything. And if he has brought you to this channel to watch this reading, then there is a message in it for you. I hope you stick around and hear what that message may be. I hope it brings you peace. I hope it brings you clarity. I hope it brings you hope for the situation that you're currently in. Maybe a friend of yours is going through something. A family member, a child. You really don't know how to help. Maybe it's shameful, private, and you're not really sure if you want to reach out and offer that person help because maybe they're not the kind of person to receive your help well. If this message gives you clarity, on how to help someone that you know is in need of direction. I'm hoping that you take this away, the messages, that you share them with those who seek this knowledge and are afraid to click on these type of videos, seek this type of information, dive into a deeper form of spirit, one that is taboo, misunderstood, mislabeled. Okay, Spirit, can we get a card for our collective viewers this evening? Can we, can you please speak to them through me? This is a brand new deck. I have blessed it, but it's a bit stiff and hard to get the cards out. I haven't had time to play with it very long to make it flexible to my pull. But I know spirit will come through. Please come through spirit. Please give us a card. Please give us a card for my collective viewers that are watching. One Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get another card, Spirit, please? Another card, Spirit, for my collective that are watching. How was your day today? Was it full of chaos, confusion, sadness, loneliness? Ooh, Spirit, that's a lot. 
Was it filled with wealth and abundance and everything you desire? Did it show up in your day? Have you ever stopped to ask you why? That even when you put your best foot forward, somehow, at the end of the day, when you lay down at night, you're not satisfied, you're not fulfilled. Many of us go through these changes. Especially in today's times. There are pandemics, illnesses, unknown diseases, mention of famine to come, floods to come. You're wondering if it'll be in your state, your city, your location, if you should move, make that move, take that new job, start that relationship with that new partner. Maybe you've been separated for some time, recently divorced. Can we get a car, Spirit? Can we get a car from my collectives that are watching? Let's see what the cards have to say. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the monster within. You are going through internal struggles in your life right now internal something has happened to you recently you've had a breakup you've lost a child you've lost a parent you had a health scare and you're struggling internally because the external world around you is not cooperating with the plan that you had for yourself. You're experiencing many personal challenges in your life. And you're wanting so hard, so much, praying and hoping. You're wanting life to get better. But you don't know how to start, where to start, where to look. You're tired overworked, misused, mishandled, unloved, heavy laden, heavy burden. Maybe you're not sleeping at night. Your diet has changed. The foods you once enjoyed, you don't eat now to fill your belly, but you get no satisfaction. Those old things you looked to that once gave you pleasure are pleasurable no more. You don't find joy in the old things. You're not sure if you find joy in the new things that are around you. You felt out of place, untouched with life, out of touch with life. Ecstasy, my love. Ecstasy, beloved, awaits you. Yield to it, surrender to it, give in, let go. Stop holding on so hard to what was, that is no more. Walk into the new, don't be afraid. Be afraid of living and stuck and, and empty and lonely. Yield to your desires. Yield to your passions. Yield to your heart. There's a blissful reality waiting for you in your future. But you can't see it because you're blinded by hopelessness. You're blinded by habit, routine, 
and struggle. You're blinded by abandonment, the past, lies. You're being, you're, you're bothered, you're bothered by your own mind. You're stuck in your own mind. Supernatural. You may be a chosen one watching this video. Divine warrior of God. Seeking to finally burst out into the universe and let your voice be heard. You have so much to offer and so much to give. Get all your life you've been told. Stay in your place. Be still. Don't move. Don't talk. Don't take the risk. Why bother? But all your life, you've lived someone else's dream of what they needed you to be. I'm sorry, that's my puppy barking at the front door. I'm sorry, excuse me. He's delicious. Miracles are waiting to happen all around you. Miracles. You have a supernatural gift, a supernatural power. supernatural spirit you hunger and you thirst for more you're not comfortable with the same old what you used to do it doesn't fit you anymore because maybe you've elevated higher but you've elevated higher alone Maybe you want to elevate higher, but you know, it's a lonely road. You already see family and friends falling away with every step you take into a new direction, a new life, a new you. And you're afraid to walk that path unseen, unrecognizable. We have the past, a prison. The prison you are in may be physical, which I don't know how you be watching this video, but, but I'm assuming the prison is within your mind. You spend each day self-sabotaging yourself, my love, for you have trapped your own self in a cocoon of protection, safety, comfort. Well, obviously not comfort. Walls that you have built around yourself have now become your own prison. You've locked yourself in and away. But who have you locked yourself in with? Who's, where, who's there with you? Can you get out? If you stay in there alone, are you waiting to be rescued? You hold the key to unlock the door that will set your soul free. Bitterness, grudges, a refusal to let go. A refusal to let go as a disobedience to God. For we are not useful to God if we are trapped in illusion. Don't you want to be useful to God so we can manifest all your desires and everything you want on drop of a dime? I am a witness to that. I allow my tears my tears turn my ashes into a kingdom, a queendom, in which I 
can build a legacy of love, of happiness, of wealth and abundance. All I had to do was let go and let God in. I didn't have to erase myself. I didn't have to stop indulging in the momentary pleasures of life that God wills us to take advantage of while we're here. I give them nothing tangible. I give them nothing that served me well. I gave up nothing that I needed to survive. I gave up everything that did not serve me in this lifetime. Let go. Let go. Cry it out if you have to. Mourn if you have to. But let it go. For whatever you are holding on to in your mind that is keeping you trapped in your own mental prison has passed. Never to happen again in the moments ahead. What use is it for you to keep it? Do you want to be a victim to others? Is that what you see? To be seen as somebody weak, shallow, broken, so that you can find someone sympathetic, not empathetic, sympathetic enough to trade their lives over in return to only receive you in the state that you're in? Why would you place your current position on someone who was elevated and healed? Don't you want to be there? Reason. This card came out. And the message of this card is, listen to advice. Think clearly with intellect and not emotion. Not emotion. Not, I'm not saying do not think with your heart. For the heart is where love is. It's only where love is. And what is the heart without the mind? Vulnerable, unprotected, or is it? Does it stand alone? Be to its own drum. The blood that flows through your veins, through your body, through your arteries, that reach the heart to make it pump and flow oxygen through your body. You need not to think to have that done. For it's done every day like a clock that God rewinds 24 hours a day to keep it ticking, to keep you alive so you can be useful. But what have you chosen to do with that gift of life every day? You've chosen to live with your free will, which we all have the right to choose. That's what we use to choose things that make us happy. Free will, a gift from God. Yes or no, right or wrong, left or right, black or white, love or hate, vengeance or forgiveness. What are you choosing to live in?
The spirit says, free your spirit. You are a free spirit as if you have, as, just as if you have free will. You have the freedom to release yourself from the chains that bind you. Live in your freedom, in your independence, and be glad that you have it. Because without it, you would not be able to make the choice every day to be better. Connect to family, connect to friends, connect to God. But first of all, connect to yourself. Or you will not be good for any of those people in your life. Have they all fallen away from you mysteriously? Not taking your calls, answering your texts, visiting. You don't get the invites you used to get. You don't know why people shun you. It's your energy. Your mind is trapped in anxiety. And therefore your presence is low vibrational. And people are not attracted to being in your presence. But God is there all the time. For you seek your gifts, your love, your companionship in people, in things, in vices. But love conquers all, my love. Love conquers all. Self love. Your connection with God, the Almighty, the Creator, the one who gives you breath, sight to see this video, ears to hear the word, a heart to receive. But He also gives you the gift of free will to reject the message. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I've heard that beef. Well, right now, right every excuse readily available but are you missing love do you know love do you know how to love do you really want it do you even need it eternal love is always on the table. All you have to do is ask for some, deserve it, meet it, be able to reciprocate it with loyalty, authenticity, genuinely, without procrastination or excuses. You can have it. God says so. Lasting commitment. Lasting commitment. With enduring loyalty. It's right at your fingertips. It's available right in front of your face. But you're tired of trying and being rejected. You're tired of not trying hard enough because it's too hard. You believe time is on your side. And the God will have everything you wanted waiting for you when you get to it. But do you really believe that? Or you want to take the risk to wait for that?
pray. Mm. There's more to this than meets the eye. I'm seeing unhealthy attachment. I'm seeing the chains that bind you. I'm seeing you being feasted upon by illusion, by memories of the past that are long gone and dead. I see you feeling victimized. You're a victim, right? Victims don't live in jail, prisons. Victims run free. So are you really a victim? Are you really the prey? Are you stuck in the illusion of being the prey? Do you feel like the universe is against you? Do you feel like someone is holding you back? An employer, a past relationship, a mistake, a wrong direction, a bad choice, guilt, shame, or are you holding on to someone, something that you know you shouldn't, and now you become their prey? Voluntarily. Because I don't believe. That those who are upright and righteous. That are vibrating high. Daily. In gratitude to the source. Receiving only to give. Genuine. With their words and their actions. Can be prey to anyone. Can be vulnerable to anyone. A chosen one sees all coming. Gifted. They know. They can smell it. They can feel it. They can taste it. In time to ward it off. Ask God to resend it, correct it. So if you feel like there is something being done to you, if you feel like you're being watched, stalked, magic, black magic being done against you, If you feel weak, lack of energy, you're having physical changes in your body you can't explain. Everyone is turned against you, away from you. Your finances are not going in the right direction. You can't focus. You have no motivation. If that is the case, only low vibrations can allow such entities in. Find a way to elevate yourself. Healing yourself. Stop worrying and focusing Focusing on the outside elements of your life and go within. Tap in to God. Make the connection. Ask it to be revealed what you need to do to stop these attacks. 
stop these toxic presence of people always coming your way. Ask God to redirect your choices and give you better vision to see it coming before it reaches you. You are allowing, you are allowing, but you are not allowing God. Spirit, please speak to us and let us know what can be done to change this current situation for this person, the viewer, my collective, my beloved watching that may seek your help in this time of need. Seek your direction. Seek your strength, your protection, your guidance. What is it you would like to say that you would like them to know, to do, to be? Should they stand still and wait for a word? Or shall you direct them to move into a different place? I know everything is easier said than done. When you're in the pot and it's hot, it's easy for us who have already healed, already processed and moved on. It's easy for us, but it's easy for us because of that reason. I don't come to you speaking on things I know nothing of, Spirit guides me and gives me wisdom based on who I am and what I can tap into, the things I should see and should know. These messages are directed, have purpose, have meaning, whether you want to take it or believe it. There is somebody out there who will and is willing to hear and to listen and to do. Don't you wanna finally be one of those people who make success possible? Aren't you tired of being in relationships that never work? With friends that never give? Family that never accepts? Jobs that never acknowledge? Children that never help. You can. You can. As long as you say it's no such thing as I can't. Or I won't. Or I'm tired. Or I'm old or I've had enough. As long as you're still living, is there ever really enough? Can there be enough? Don't you wanna ride till the wheels fall off until you can't ride anymore? I'm sure you haven't seen everything in life there is to see. You haven't met everyone in your life you need to meet. You haven't done everything you're supposed to do. There's so much fun waiting for you. Excitement, exploration, creativity, joy, <laughs> peace. Don't you want peace? Spirit Fox. Trust, trust your talents in changing times. If you're a reader watching this, or if you're a collective watching this, who's recognized that you are different than everyone else in your family, 
and all your friends. Everyone at the job recognizes you, but also dismisses you because you're just too much. It's because you are. You are gifted. You have a talent that you haven't tapped into. There's something needing to be done that you have not done. Something that's going to elevate you to the next level of your life. Something that's going to move you out of that old and into that new. That soulmate. That career. That new home. That new position in church, even. In the community, you have something to say, something to give. God is saying, it's within your spirit to do it. And why you're feeling empty is because you're not living in your purpose. Trust your instincts, my love. What you feel is right. What you feel is correct. You're being guarded. You have guarding angels, animal spirits. Animal spirits covering you. Like guardian angels. You may have been seeing birds lately flying overhead, crows. You may have heard an owl in your neighborhood and maybe they're not usually there. At your window, in your sleep, maybe you've dreamt of birds. You may also have had a child that passed away. And you may be wondering, Spirit is telling you that child is still with you and watching over you. Those birds you see often are the spirit of your lost one coming to remind you that you are never alone. Medicine guarding you. Be open to healing information <laughs> such as this reading. <laughs> that was ironic. Be open to information and messages, synchronicities. Are you seeing numbers? I'm seeing signs that something is about to change in your life. Are you feeling movement when you're not moving? And they're giving you anxiety. Be open to that. If you're not feeling well, go see your doctor. It's not a shame to say this hurts or that hurts. You're not the first or only one. Go get help. If you need help with an addiction, go get help. Maybe the help you're seeking is modern help maybe you need to go seek spiritual help plant medicine doctors as such as myself or plant medicine healers god forbid we say doctor or i say i'm a doctor and you know i'm not a doctor youtube blah 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 plant medicine healers they're useful Maybe you need something organic to detox your body, to clear your mind. See from a higher perspective. We have the eagle again. See from a higher perspective. You are strong and mighty like the eagle. You can, if you want to. Maybe fighting it, it's inevitable. 
If you're fighting it, I'm going to let you know it's inevitable. Because we can fight spirit, but for so long before the earth cracks open and it swallows us up. And we're forced to fight our way out alone. And that's a harder way. Why would anyone want to choose that way? When God makes it so easy. Mountains. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Open your mouth and let your voice be heard. Whatever situation you're in, speak up. Speak up. Do not accept less than you deserve. Do not accept less than you have to offer. Do not accept less than your worth. Fight. Climb those mountains. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from God. For he opens and parts the mighty sea so I can walk through strong. His blood flows to me. I am protected. You've got the summer card. We are in summer. The bee. The nurturing, motherly bee. The insect of honey, nectar, and sweetness. Bask in the joy of summertime. Bask in the light and the sun. Get out into nature. If you're shut up in the darkness too often, you stay in your room, you never come out, you don't go anywhere, get out. Speak to the trees. Feel the wind flow amongst your skin. Let the sun detox you and soak in that beautiful vitamin D. Vitamin D is needed. It gets rid of clutter. It heals the heart. The sun, melanin, strengthens the body. Gives you energy and vitality. Get out into the sun, go to the beach. Let the water flow all over your body and wash away. Everything that does not serve you. Sage your environment. Purchase some sage. Any kind, blue, white, cleanse your space, your home. If someone is really praying against you to see your downfall, to keep you hostage, sage your area weekly. Sage your home. Walk through every room with windows open to release the negative energy as you clean out the air. Same prayers, requests. But do something for yourself other than in waiting for a miracle to fall out the sky. When you're able-bodied and I'm sound mind, I'm assuming. Autumn. And this can either mean that in the season coming of the fall, with some called autumn, there is a great release coming your way. The mighty crow, the messenger. There may be a release coming your way. But do you really want to wait till the fall? Don't you want it now? Release the old and rest. Your weeping mind, your weeping eyes, your weeping heart. Let it go. If it's gone, it was supposed to be gone. And if it's not supposed to be gone, it'll come again. Don't you want to be ready? 
this time to hold on and keep what's been taken away. If restoration is coming your way, don't you want to be ready to receive it? Be strong. Ready to fight anyone else who will ever come against you again? The Traveler card. It requires you to move in a new direction. It requires you to seek a higher elevation of self. It requires you to go beyond the norm, beyond the routine, beyond the always that control you. The old ways of thinking, of moving, of being, of choosing. Because you have a direction guardian with you at this time. Look at all those mighty animals. Mighty lions, eagle, wings of flight. Wrapped around your protected angelic beings do it now choose your path now stop waiting for a better tomorrow that you are not building today because you are a high priest my love you are the one the master of your own destiny, capable, strong, intuitive, godlike, mighty warrior. You do not stand alone. You command birds to fly in your direction, in any direction. Like I said, you are protected. Anything that comes against you will be immediately stopped. Your angels are watching over you. So it's okay to drop your guard. Just a little. Those walls you built to protect yourself that are holding you hostage from all of that that awaits for you, it's okay to let the guard down because someone else higher with a better plan for you is guiding your steps now. You can trust that this next direction will not be wrong. Maybe you are going higher. You found a spiritual path. Maybe you are connecting. And now you're calling in all you need to secure your future. That nothing else now will be able to come against you. You've had this hour moments. Destruction no more. My favorite animal, creature, the snake, the serpent. Most people are afraid of a snake. They're shunned by it. They think it's poisonous. It harms you. It means to strangle me and kill me. No. The snake is strategic. Transforming. It sheds its skin only to create new skin at will. It's hardly ever seen before it arrives. It is silent, yet its bite is toxic and its grip unmoving, unshakable. You are unshakable, 
strategic motion hidden from plain sight by the divine. Why do in this energy move? Move, beloved, move. For now you're in a moment of opportunity unlike never before. You see the light. You're just afraid to walk in because the dark has been so used to being your only home. Alas, two cards. Chief Shifter. Transformation, like I said, with this name. Transform and reveal your gifts. Take off the mask. Who are you really? Who do you want the world to see you as? Is it as they need to see you or as you need to be seen? Remove the cloak of darkness that hides the light within and shine on the world. Except no less. A wise one. You're wise beyond your years, beyond your history, beyond your past, beyond your choices and your mistakes. There's a wisdom in you bursting with fire and energy. Throw within your current situation. Even when you're down, you can still grow. For if you plant a seed underneath the soil, within the darkness, once the sunlight comes out and hits the ground, that fire energy automatically penetrates even the most dense soil to burst through new life, new buds of abundance, flowers dripping with sweet nectar of joy, beautiful abundant flowers full of color, vivid color. Can you see them? Can you picture yourself running through a field of the most beautiful flowers, smelling the most delicious fragrance you've ever smelled. That's love waiting for you. That's life waiting for you. That's God blooming all around you. Are you willing to grow? Are you ready to bloom? Do you want to shed that old skin? Are you wise enough to feel the protection? To feel your strength? To know that you are protected? Are you wise enough to go within? Does your intuition tell you that you cannot be defeated? You cannot be stopped, delayed maybe, but never stopped? Do you see yourself victorious? Do you manifest that with your words? Do you say the daily affirmations to yourself? I am the one, I am able, I am protected, I am special, 
I am worthy. I choose to see peace in everything I see because I am divinely favored. Forget them, Lord, for they do not see me as I choose to see me. For they do not matter. If I choose to see you, God, give you the gift of vision. So when you look in the mirror, you see God. And you know you are unbeatable, strong, vibrant, energetic, forceful, hungry for life, for love, for victory, for pleasure. I hope this reading helped in some way. I hope when you wake up tomorrow or you lay to sleep tonight that you know that tomorrow can be a better day. That you know that you know that you know that there is no other way but to look above. And within as within, so without. As you are within, so shall your outside world be. As within, so without. Because as above, so below. Confess that God's will be done. As he sees fit. And not thy will. For you know so far what it has brought you to. And now you want to get out of the driver's seat. And rest in the comfort of God's movement in your life. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I hope you come again. I hope you're listening and I hope you share. I hope you can hit the like button on your way out to support me. And the purpose that every day leads you to new questions and new directions. Have a good night. Have a great night. Have a great tomorrow. I love you and God loves you. Beloved. If you're chosen, choose. We're in the season of choice. It's a full moon coming on August 11th. In two days. What will you wish for? What will you manifest? Are you tired? Of the old, do you really want new? You gotta be willing to stop being a victim of yourself. It's gone, it's over, it's done. Rebuild, restore, and renew. Rebirth is approaching for you. Until again, I pray you peace. I pray you love. I shame.